Hi guys, so today I've put together a Valentine's inspired look. It is a very simple eye makeup with a pop-up color on the lips. Uh, I will be trying out some products for the first time today, so it'll be a first a bit of a first impressions as well. I thought of starting a bit of a series on my YouTube channel called Kiss. So it's keep it simple sister and basically what the series is going to be about is just doing super simple beginner kind of makeup sort of like this look it is so easy to put together you guys must just let me know if you're interested in a series like that and yeah I'm excited I think it'll It'll help out a lot of goals. I'm not going to ramble on any longer. We're just going to get straight into the tutorial. I hope you guys enjoy it. Mwah. Today I am trying out the Benefit Professional Pro Balm to minimize the appearance of pores. My pores lately have been really large and in charge um, on my forehead and then in this area here. On the packaging it says um, apply this silky lightweight formula to minimize the appearance of pores and fine lines for smoother than smooth skin. Mm. Sounds like every girl's dream come true. So let's try this bad boy out oh, and see how well he works. So this is what it looks like, if you guys can see. It's like this light, light, beige sort of color. I really like the way the product feels on my skin and it really is super duper lightweight. Stay there. And then on the rest of my face, I'm going to be using my favorite Catrice Prime and Fine Beautifying Primer. Next, I'm going to use the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer, and I'm going to use that as an eyeshadow base. And I'm just going to use my finger to dab it in. So for my eyes, I'm going to start off with my bride brows. And I'm going to go in with my usual Benefit Cabrow Gel. I'm just going to fill in my brows as a usual. It is so hot. That is much better anyways so now that the brows are done I'm going to be going in with my beautiful Kali Bible palette I really wish her these eyeshadows had names but they don't and that's one thing that kind of makes me sad I'm going to be going in with this shade here it's like a light like an extremely lightish brown and I'm just gonna add that to uh, my crease and slightly taking it up mm. hey. so you really want it to be as natural as possible I'm not applying a lot of product whatsoever and then right in the crease I'm going to be going in with 
this color right here and I'm just gonna apply a smidge of it just to add a bit of dimension to the eye keep it simple because you know your lips are gonna be popping I'm sorry if the light keeps changing but I'm using natural light and there are clouds and it's just what happens next I'm gonna be going in with the NYX super skinny eye marker you guys know this is my holy grail um, product when it comes to liquid liner but you use whatever product best suits you when doing your thing down one to go let's see if I can match it his eye is so swollen oh oh gosh so swollen you guys may not be able to see it on camera but oh my sack highly doubt I'm going to be able to match my two eyes today not a chance okay that is so bad <laughs> and there's nothing I can do listen ladies if your man can't accept you with the swollen fucked up eye then that man don't deserve your ass. Uh, I don't even know. Okay, I'm just gonna try match it. I'm probably gonna make this situation so much worse for myself. I don't, I don't even know what to tell you. I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it um, as is. Love me the way I am. In the words of... In the words of Bruno Mars. You're amazing, just the way you are. So next, now that the winged liner is done, your eyeshadow is done, you're obviously going to go in with some mascara. So today I am trying out a new mascara. And this is the Revlon... Dramatic definition if it's gonna focus mascara because what's life without a bit of drama? And I think it retails for about 149 Rand and you can buy it at any drugstore. Okay. Okay. If you guys can see. Okay. Not bad. I like it that much we'll see maybe it needs to grow on me next step is foundation oh my word so there's a bit of drama with me and foundation my foundation decided that it was time to discontinue our relationship and it took me quite a while to accept it and take it in because I really was in love with my foundation like mr. Catrice was everything to me he just and then yeah I don't, I don't know what I did wrong it's not cool to discontinue shit and just not give people a sort of notice in advance I needed to move on I had to move on so my search for a new foundation in my life started because the whole entire process was so frustrating and heartbreaking and just <sighs> I was still not over Mr. Catrice 
I decided to go back to one of my foundations that I used to use and just take a bit of a break from trying to find another true love I guess if you can say that so today I will be using my trusty Bobbi Brown long wear even finish foundation with SPF 15 and I am the color beige 3 I'm just gonna pop this bad boy all over my face. I mean, there's no music. This is what happens. Should I stop that though? You guys need to let me know. Like, should I stop with the um, um, dancing and stuff? I mean, that's me. But I don't know if you'll get irritated by it. Like, oh my god, D, just get straight to the point. Stop dancing. Nobody wants to see you dancing. White girl dancing. Rather impressed with the Benefit Professional. I mean, it's done a really good job. I was hoping not to like it because the price of it isn't so fantastic. But I really like it. Oh my gosh. Next I'm going to be going in with the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. And I'm just going to apply that under my eyes just to make me look awake. So I always, as always I use my ring finger and I just lightly dab that into my skin and then I'll go in with the brush or beauty blender to finish it off. Then I'm going to be using this essence two-in-one Sun Club bronzing powder and I'm gonna apply that to my cheeks. I'm just gonna go and use this darker shade. And then just to the apples of my cheek I'm gonna be going in with this gosh like a multi-color blush and finally just to add a bit of highlight to the face I'm going to be going in with this Catrice Glow Mineralize High Lighting powder and this is in 010 light fusion oh no i'm wrong light infusion just gonna add that here oh hello and for the final step today we're going to be doing our lips you can choose any bold, bright, beautiful color that you want. I'm just going with red because red is love. So today I'll be using the L'Oreal Collection Exclusive by JLo and it's pure red. It is such a beautiful red color. that for today's Valentine's makeup look. If you like this look, give it a thumbs up and remember to subs uh, remember to subscribe to my channel. 
I hope you guys have an amazing day and better yet, I hope that your Valentine's Day turns out exactly the way you want it to. Send you guys much love. Peace.